So, I was talking to a pastor the other day online, and I just simply asked him, how do you encourage your singles at your church to deal with their singleness? He just simply wrote back, pretty quickly I must add, and said, well, Luke, we tell them to get married. We need your help! Hello and welcome to I'm Scared of Church Girls, the video series, and my name is Luke Eli, the church guy, and as always, I want to remind you to subscribe below and also share with people, comment, do whatever you got to do. We want to get the word out and we want to get conversation started. Meanwhile, I want to remind you that the God that I serve loves you so much and he wants you to maximize the gifts and passions that you have. Why? Because he gave them to you. And keep in mind that my God is not in the business of promoting fear, but that of discipline, that of love, and that of power. So with that said, let's get into today's topic, which is what is it like being a single in the church today? Now, everyone is going to have different experiences as it pertains to their singleness in church. Why is that? Well, newsflash, hello, we are all different. Now, it probably doesn't need to be said, but let me just point out the obvious. The church guy experience as a single and the church girl experience as a single is probably vastly different. And as we all know, the church is a pretty big stickler in most cases on gender roles and the expectations of, you know, each one. Now, growing up in or attending a small to middle-sized traditional church is usually a pretty interesting experience for a single's psyche. After all, finding another single in your congregation is like discovering E.T. is in your living room. Contrast that with going to a larger, more trendy church and post-worship service in the foyer, of course, surrounding the coffee bar, looks like another episode of The Bachelor. Rural, suburban, and urban areas heavily impact one single's experience. In some communities, if you are not hitched by, say, age 21, you're going to walk into church that weekend and all those married folk are going to be looking at you wondering whether or not you have adopted a cat or not. Hey. The attitude and the experience of, say, a single college student is going to be vastly different of that of, say, a young professional who is maybe just separated by a few years. And as you know, in the single world, not to be ageist or something like that, but a few years can be a deal breaker for a lot of different things. In this song, we're playing the same woman two years apart. I'm 29 and I'm 31. 29 years old and time's on my side. I'm in my prime. I've hit my stride. I've got so much charisma and so many options. It's nice to always have my pick. There's nobody left! I'm all alone! And regardless if you're extrovert or introvert, trendy or traditional, I'm going to go out on a limb and probably say that your church has held marriage and family as a very high priority for its community. Singles are constantly being reminded in one way or the other that we are missing out and that we are not fulfilling the life that God has for us. Why? Because we're single. It makes sense why the church would probably want to think this way. After all, God realized really quickly in the Garden of Eden that man should not be alone. So therefore, he created a partner. And the first commandment in the Bible is, well, be fruitful and multiply. And last I checked, you kind of need a partner to do that. And we learn all of this, and we're not even done with the first chapter of the Bible. I mean, even the New Testament refers to the church, which is you and me, as the Bride of Christ. Not a very subtle message. Ugh. Ugh. 
this constant message of marriage and family that is perpetuated by the church has often contributed to three very common and not so positive themes that I have discovered when talking to singles in the church. One is loneliness, two is shame, and three is just simply fitting in. And what does that all lead to? The exit. You know, that big door in the back of the church. If it comes down to feelings, and feelings are a pretty big part of who we are as humans, then it should come to no surprise to any of us that singles feel far more comfortable outside the confines of the church rather than inside of it. Society constantly reminds us nowadays that family is outdated or overrated. Your career is king. Commitment is, well, pfft, whatever. Sex is liberating. Who needs community when independence is the way to go? Sometimes we need to understand or just simply remember that the God that created you and me in his image is so much bigger than, oh, I don't know, our relationship status that we like to post on our whatever our social media kick is for the day. So, with all that said, I want to know what you think about everything that we talked about here today. So please, leave a comment, start a conversation, leave questions. Because next week we're going to be answering the question, what does it look like to date in the church today? Meanwhile...